Hello! Welcome to Shadow of Judgment. We're gonna see which sign we're doing today. What is Shadow of Judgment? Shadow of Judgment is where you see the nooks, the crannies, the back stories, the backgrounds, the things that are going on in the dark that you might not be aware of. We're gonna see which sign. We already did you, Earth Signs. Calm down. <laughs> we're gonna see which sign's gonna be next. We just did Earth. So. Water! Water signs! Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Step right up to the plate. We're gonna get to judge you. Yay! This could be you or somebody you're dealing with. Cross watchers, same as always. So let's see what's going on with Cancer, since they're always first, of course. They're the first ones. Watery, watery, emotionally, blubbly Cancer. No Cancer, I have to say, sometimes I wonder about you. Because <laughs> you guys are so silly sometimes. Let's see. Offer to... Ooh, what? Someone is really dragging their ass when it comes to an offer. <laughs> Something financial, something of important. Like, it's like they chose the door and now they gotta drag some sticks. And it's just like, oh, I don't wanna do this. And it's just kinda like, hey, this is God. I have a pentacle for you. It'll, lo it'll lessen that load. And your eyes are just like, no! They ate my cheesecake. I'm not happy. <laughs> Oh, oh! did you guys break up with somebody? That's terrible. I hate that for you guys. Like, you guys are so emotional, too. Like, any little upset will just fuck you up. But it's just kind of like, you know... Mm. Okay, this offer is coming from a very... What the fuck? Alright. Alright, Cancer, you have your back turned to it, and it's driving you crazy. Guarding against it, if you will. What the fuck are you doing, guys? <laughs> like, you guys are my polar opposites, because I'm a Capricorn, right? So, you know, you guys do the opposite of what I do. I'm sitting here, and sometimes I, got, I, I examine your guys' motives, and I swear it's got, it's like, sometimes to me it's like, it's got, it's like you guys don't think about it. It's like you just try to feel it out, and then like, I don't know, when people bring shit up to you that you might have just happened to have done without realizing it, it's like, you, you don't, it's like, I don't know, it's almost like, I don't know. Ooh. Okay, I, I think you have a ball in your court somewhere, Cancer, and you're just, yeah, you're just not. You know, you're just not. You're just fucking not. You're not. Aww. Oh, Cancer, what happened? Oh, okay. Ew, okay. All right, Cancers, this is your shadow of judgment, right? There is something or something in the background that is making you an offer. Whoever is giving you this offer or whoever had this offer, whatever, money, material, shit, you guys like stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't. Like, I don't know. It's weird, because, like, Capricorns always get, like, shit for, like, being materialistic and stuff, but you guys have more stuff than most Capricorns do. At least in the beginning of your lives, until, like, I don't know, you hit your Saturn return, which is, like, between 29 and 30-something, maybe 31, 32. Something like that. I can never remember. You guys' Saturn returns always fuck you up, too. Way more than, like, it does a Capricorn, which is fucked, because, you know, whatever. But it's like someone or something made this offer, and it's grounded in logic and decision. But this offer also brought a lot of impatience and a loss of identity. Now, this stems from a relationship that broke up that you're guarding against, even though you might want the cup to be offered to you. Now, you, it's kind of like you're holding out on a burden and you got your back turned, but it's turning you really, really nasty. Or it has the potential of turning you very nasty and making you feel like there is no victory in this at all. In fact, it makes you feel like, I don't know, like there was somebody in your house that didn't belong, especially with the Six of Wands reverse. I always like saying that because that's always a possibility. Like, the, like there are people who are who could possibly be around you who aren't actually your friends. They're letting you have a victory ride, but as soon as they get in your house, ho-whack! They're just gonna beat you with their sticks. Right? 
right. This bothers me a little bit, though. This one right here. With temperance, as well. It's like... <clears throat> mm. It's like someone who was making the offer decided to stop waiting because it was a waste of their time. Or it's like they made an offer that was actually logical, and it was just like, if you don't take this offer, we're done. And they lost their patience, and it was just like, you know what? I am totally not made for this kind of thing, and I think that's what this is stemming from, but I'm not sure. Can, like, I'm not good with emotion. I'm a Capricorn, right? I'm not sure. Um, so this is all up to you to decide, but it's almost like you're trying to deny your love for somebody in order to get that somebody to notice you, or I'm not sure. It's like you turn your true self away and turn on this bitch mode with the Empress and become bitter and mean and cold. And it's like, it's almost like if if you keep doing this, people are going to start coming against you. And that's going to make you feel like out. Like I, like, I don't know. That's what it feels like, Cancer. But that's your judgment. Let us go to Scorpio. Scorpio. Mars is kicking ass right now. You probably feel empowered. You probably feel strong. You probably feel like you want to fight and fuck. Which, you know, we're all out of fighting, so... Get your freak on, you know? Just don't keep plotting revenge against everybody, though. Like, you guys have a habit of that. Well, you guys have more of a habit of, like, poisoning your lips to kill the lover before they kill you, too. We're taking your stinger and jabbing it through your head to make sure you poison your lover because you're pretty sure they're going to come say something nasty to you just because, which, you know, that's just how you are. It's not a bad thing, though. Like, I can totally relate. <clears throat> like, if I go by my Vedic, I'm actually a uh, Scorpio rising and a Sagittarius sun and a Capricorn moon. Which is basically the same thing as a uh, Capricorn Sun, Sagittarius Rising, and Aquarius Moon, but way more fucked up. <laughs> so let's see. You feel like stuff stopped and nothing is fair anymore. And all you want is really to just chill. That's what you got right now. You just want to... But you feel... Yeah, you feel exalted in your power. Could be dealing with a Pisces or Cancer right now. Yeah, okay. Dooch. 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 Ooh. Okay, Scorpio. Do you have any burbate? Well, you need at least one more. Well, no, I got the two. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> wow, you're just going all in, ain't you, Scorpio? God damn. Alright, well, there's the King of Pentacles. He's reversed this time. With Earth's, like... Was it Virgo and Capricorn both had the King of Pentacles, but he was upright. Not in this situation. Um, it seems like Scorpio, you are done handing out money or something to people. Um, you know, we got Six of Pentacles reverse up here. Unfairness. You could be dealing with Libra, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. Uh. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, basically all this, all but, um, Sagittarius and Aries are up here. Well, actually, no, Aries is here. So everybody but Taurus, everybody but Taurus is pissing you off, right? It, you feel like you're giving away a lot of your power and you're kind of coming out of the illusions with it a little bit and kind of restricting yourself so you can work on something. Now, you are kind and generous, but, like, it's like you don't want to give your heart out anymore, and that might cause a disaster. Now, on this side, since there are two people, this person over here wants to work on stuff. This person over here feels like they're financially destitute. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It feels like they are stuck, and looking back on everything, it's just been like, mmm. And there's a desire for someone to just detach with the king of swords right here because this dude's kind of a mooch right you might be dealing with a mooch or you might be dealing you might be thinking possibly that you just want to 
detached from this person right here, he's not only possibly some sort of burden and you feel like you're just almost stuck or whatever, but you are trying to deal with your own shit as well. And right now you feel like you're giving away too much of yourself. You're trying to come out of some illusions about the unfairness. You might also be dealing with a Leo who might be being unfair to you or somebody else. But you definitely want to work on some stuff right here. So take that for consideration, Scorpios. This tower bothers me, though. Because it's just almost like um, you cutting off the love. Almost like if you're a mother and you're doing tough love to a child right here. Taking your cup and riding this way because you figured out, like, you know, maybe I should just work on taking care of myself instead of giving out all my money to people who ask me for it or ask for something. It doesn't have to be money. It could be some sort of other thing. It could be um, codependency, especially with the Seven of Pentacles right here, which is something that the King of Swords would definitely see and would detach from, completely cut out. There might also be some truth that you are looking for behind these scenes and mind you the shadows scorpio you this is basically almost like a, a, a just a reading just for you because you guys are always working in your shadows you are the behind the scenes people so whatever this is is pretty much what you are already going to be dealing with for a while i feel like this is going to be like i think that this is might be sort of a continuation of something else so i am not sure but that is your shadow there you go. Pisces! Your turn! Scorpio, I gotta say, like, yours is gonna cut through a little bit. It's, it's like, you're kind of choosing between love and money, it feels like. Like, do you love this person, or do you love your money? I don't know what the fuck that is, but I can get the fuck off of me. Oh, no, that was for my sock. Never mind. Alright, Pisces, it's your turn. Of course I gotta say something weird for you, Pisces. You're amazing. You gotta see the other sides of things, which everybody appreciates. You see the opposite of what everybody sees. Which is always a nice way of looking at things, I would say. Temperance right here. You want to be happy, but you feel like there's stagnation in it, and you're trying to come together with somebody else. You might be a Sagittarius here. You don't feel happy. Oh, I see. Could be cancer here involved as well. You might find happiness with a cancer. Eight of swords, strength reverse, wheel of fortune reverse. Something not working and an emperor right here. That's your shadow right now. Okay. So Pisces, let's look over your shadows for this coming week, right? Let's see. Oh my god, my throat is so fucking dry and I don't know why. Let's see. I got one of those little like... I got a couple of those like fucking ice cubes, which are like the long ones that fit in my water bottle. Like, look at this. This is amazing to me. This is like Christmas. <laughs> like I'm never going without a, 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 an ice cold bottle of water again. I'm so happy. Anyway, Pisces. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's a burden here in your shadow, right? That it's making you feel like you are stagnated in your own self image. Making you feel like you're kind of restrained in yourself. There might be somebody making you feel like you're restricted. There is this whole coming together vibe or just wanting to feel as though you are at peace, calm, um, don't need to deal with shit, but unfortunately you're a bit restless. Um, Eight of Swords has you in a mindset where you feel like things are just not working out either with the job or with an affair maybe somewhere. Ooh, affair. That's so cute. Um... This is all connected with this Emperor Reverse, somebody who could be really, really restricting you from being your free spirit self, I feel like. Um, could be Aries. Could also be, um, who else does the Emperor represent? I can't remember. Um, also could be Scorpio. I'm just throwing that out there. 
because it feels like Scorpio a little bit too. But um, this person right here, whoever this Emperor Reverse is, it, there's a sense of unfairness in this. He could be a very older gentleman, and he's eyeing over here where someone wants to be happy, have this happy ending, move forward, but unfortunately the Wheel of Fortune is stopping it. It's like, could be a Cancer that you're trying to move forward with and it's just not happening. Or you could, try, could be trying to move away from all this stuff right here. But it's not happening either in a well way or it's just like it's not fated to go that way. One of the two. You take what your pick is. I would like to see what your opinions are on this though. But uh, the devil is definitely on top of the wheel stalling it. Like, hey, what up? You ever see a devil riding on a wagon wheel? Well, let me play you my favorite song, you know? Like, it's just going <laughs> like that a little bit. But yeah, that's what it feels like it is for your shadow right now. So, that is yours, Pisces. I will see you guys next week, and you guys take care. Love you, bye-bye.